Welcome to the next video in the Space Combat Kit Quick Start Tutorial Series. In this and the next few videos, we're going to take a look at the hard or head up display and set up a new one for your ship. First, the kit got updated recently so the ship might look a bit different, but we can pick up where we left off in the other videos as the way the vehicle is set up has not changed. The HUD includes five main elements. General Cockpit UI, Dashboard Holograms, Target Tracking, 3D Radar, and HUD Messages. In this first video, I'm going to go over the anatomy of the HUD and how the correct HUD is loaded and unloaded in the scene when the player enters or exits a vehicle. Then, in the next videos, I'll go over each of these elements in more detail. Let's begin by taking a look at the example HUD prefab provided in the kit. Go to Space Combat Kit, Demos, Prefabs, HUD, and drag the HUD Space Fighter 2 prefab into the scene. You can see that on the root transform we only have a component named HUD Manager. This component is a manager for all of the different elements of the HUD. Its role includes storing references to the different HUD components, storing a reference to the vehicle that the HUD is part of, and managing the way that the HUD is displayed in different camera views. Now let's take a look at all the different parts that make up the HUD. Let's open the hierarchy of this prefab. The first part is the HUD cockpit. The HUD cockpit includes all of the information that is displayed to the player about their own vehicle. It is controlled by a component named HUD ship cockpit. In the inspector of this component, you can see a lot of references to UI components that display information such as speed, energy, health, and so on. If you want to add some UI to your game to show the player additional information about their own ship, it's recommended to add it to this component here. The second part of the HUD is the dashboard hologram. This part of the HUD displays a holographic mesh for the player's currently selected target that shows its rotation or orientation so the player can see where the target is facing even when it's a long distance away. The third part of the HUD is the 3D radar. The 3D radar shows the position of the different targets within radar range relative to the player's ship. This part is managed by a component named HUD Radar 3D, which has a lot of options for controlling how the 3D radar is displayed. The fourth part of the HUD is the target tracking. The target tracking displays a target box over targets in the scene, including information on their name, health, distance from player, and so on as well as indicating the direction the player has to go to face toward targets that are currently off screen. There are a lot of settings for this in the inspector, including switching to World Space UI so that we can use it for VR games. The fifth part of the HUD is the HUD messages. The HUD messages allows you to display all sorts of messages and warnings to the player, such as missile threats, as well as sound effects for things like missile locking sequences. Any temporary information you need to communicate to the player can be put in a message here. So that's what a HUD looks like. Any of these parts can be removed without issues if you don't need them in your game. There are a couple more things to cover in this video. First of all, in this kit, only one HUD is loaded in the scene at any time. Ships flying around in the scene do not have HUDs in their cockpits, only the player's ship. This is not just to save a bit of memory, but also because some parts of the HUD might be on screen space canvases, which means that they would appear on the screen regardless of whether the camera is following that ship, which we obviously don't want. So how do we associate a HUD prefab with a ship? If you take a look at the Space Fighter 2 friendly prefab, which is the ship used in the demos, 
You can see on the vehicle component in the inspector, there is a HUD prefab assigned. So when the player enters that ship, the correct HUD can be identified and loaded. How do we load a HUD when the player enters the ship? This is handled by a scene level component called HUD Scene Manager which we'll put in the scene now. Create a new game object as a child of the scene level components game object and name it HUD Scene Manager. Go to Space Combat Kit, Scripts, Universal Vehicle Combat, HUD, and drag the HUD Scene Manager component onto the new game object. This component has nothing to set in the inspector. It receives a callback when the player enters a ship, at which point it deactivates and hides any previously loaded HUD, instantiates the correct HUD if it hasn't been created already, and it activates it in the scene. So that wraps up this video. In the next few videos, we'll create a new HUD for a ship, taking a look in more detail at the different parts of the HUD and what they do.